Hey everyone, welcome back to another first look. This time we're taking a look at a game called Lightfall by Bishop Games on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's one of the games that was shown off at the Nin Nindies Showcase, I believe, two months ago. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but it looks really cool. It's a platforming game. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into the game right now. Uh, so we will go ahead and turn it on and uh, get started. I'll select my account. Um, I know very little about this game except except that it looks like a very, very fast-moving platformer. And uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, and they recommended checking it out. So I am checking it out uh, just to be completely transparent. And so you know the... Uh, know that I got this game as a review copy. I didn't pay for it, but it is not an ad. Uh, I already very much like the art style, very much re reminiscent of Fee, which is that EA game for the Switch, but um, let's adjust the audio. All right, I think that's probably good. And we'll hit new game, and, and uh, I'll probably play for about 10 minutes or so just to get uh, my initial impressions. Okay, here we go. Got an hourglass and a sword. I like how small the character is. I think that looks kind of cool. It'll make for some really good environments, and I'll bet you some really cool boss fights now. Okay, so B is the jump. And I'm not sure what the right trigger does, but it kind of... It looks like a sprint button, maybe? <clears throat> oh, boy. Things are getting real. That was really weird. The land of Numbra is a place of its own. A land where the sun never rises. A land of eternal night. For hundreds of years, we have been ignored by the rest of the world, left to slumber alone in the shadows. Our homeland is harsh and unforgiving. Only the strongest survive, while the weak get crushed. Even so, that didn't stop the Kamloops, a small and pitiful nation, from migrating here. Weary of the everlasting wars waged by their neighboring nations, the Kamloops left everything behind. Everything but a foolish hope for better days. On their quest for peace and tranquility, they sought shelter in perilous Numbra. There, they would find haven in the perpetual darkness that shrouded their new home. Or so they thought, for a new threat now loomed. One that could not only engulf the Kamloops, but also plunge all of Numbra into oblivion. All right, there we go. I might cut that out. I don't know. That was kind of long, and uh, it, it means that there's less gameplay that you'll see. But I, I, you know, I haven't made that decision yet, so it's still loading. Uh, that's that's annoying, but not a deal breaker. I've played games that loaded for longer. Hmm. What do we have here? Who is this young fellow? Let's watch from afar. Oh, okay, so we fell down. I really like the environments. I think they look great. Uh, very. This also kind of reminds me of a platformer. Not really a platformer, almost like a puzzle game that it's I played. As if the fireflies are trying to lead him somewhere. I um, wonder where. Called Limbo. And that's cool. I like that the fireflies are showing me where I need to go. Okay, so I need to head up there. Okay, I like that. Uh, it seems to play. Whoops! Seems to play pretty well. The controls feel pretty tight, but you know, not perfect. Uh, oh, look at that! You don't slide down. You just kind of hold on. Oh, you do slide down. All right, never mind. 
I feel like when I'm jumping over the lip, I should jump a little bit further, but I guess that's just not how this game works. Seems troublesome. That seems like a good checkpoint. Alright, let's climb up here. And then I gotta jump. Nope. Okay. You can't really change direction mid-jump. But, you know, maybe I'll get power-ups later that'll allow me to do that. Something vile has happened here. I've never seen such crystals in number before. Alright, so now run, it wants me to run, run fast. Run. Nice. Uh, a little bit of HD rumble going on, or maybe just rumble. I don't I don't know if it's really what HD yet. It seems to react to the boy's presence. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Okay, that was weird. So when I jump and then I hit um, B again, a platform shows up underneath me. And it looks like four is the limit of the number of times you can do it. Whoops, okay, let's try that again. This time I'm gonna jump over it. Haha, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> okay, I like that it shows you, it's like, hey, you better stop now. But man, you go really fast. It feels... The, the speed at which I'm moving feels very much like Sonic the Hedgehog, um, which worries me a little bit, because Sonic the Hedgehog gets hard to control sometimes if it gets too fast, but the fact that I can make my own platform to jump off of is, uh, I wouldn't go you know, down that's good. There. Never mind. Oh, okay. I did not realize those guys were on the ceiling there. And you know what? This game feels like a game that would be better with the Joy-Cons. So right now I'm using the Pro Controller. I'm going to switch it off. And I'm going to switch to the Joy-Cons. Excuse my squeaky chair. Alright, so now I'm using the split Joy-Cons. No, uh, no, um, I don't know, whatever that thing is that, that, that no grip. Just, just the Joy-Cons. So I'll fall down there. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought that was something that I would pick up, not something that would kill me. So we gotta jump over that. Ugh. Ooh, am I gonna make it? All right, I made it. I knew this fool would drag me into this. I never imagined that, in my ripe old age, I would leave my exile to become, once again, involved in the affairs of Numbra. I, Strix, the last night owl, saving a foolish child. Foolish? The boy claimed to have no recollection of his past, or how he got here. He couldn't even remember his name. I had no choice, but to take him to the nearest village, hoping that would be the end of it. Very interesting. Interesting beginning to the game. I don't feel like I have enough to have uh, first impressions, though, so this might this video might be longer than most of them are. Uh, just because, you know, the cutscene at the beginning kind of slowed things down, and... Let's get going. All right, let's get going. Bones can't carry you all the way. All right, so I am just gonna. Maybe I'll just do this level. How it odd. feels like the longer the village looks deserted. I remember this place being occupied by the Kamloops. Does this place ring a bell? Are my eyes deceiving me? Oh wait, what is this? Or is this poor fellow trapped inside that crystal? There's not much we can do for him now. I would really like the the. <laughs> I, I, it seems like rude almost, but I would really like the voice acting to stop. What a mess. 
All right, what does the X the button do? Blocked. Oh, cool. This is, um, this reminds me of, oh gosh, what is the name of that game? Trine? Where you can, like, the wizard could make stuff. Oh, okay, that almost killed me. That's really cool. I like that, that puzzle solving there. Now, I wonder if I can put... Wow, okay, you can really move these far away. Can I use that to push things down? Oh, I don't need to do that. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Oh, sugar. All right, let's land. Let that recharge. Okay, when you're running horizontally, the, f the game feels fantastic. But when you're climbing, I don't like the way it feels. It feels too clunky. I might as well give you a history lesson. The Kamloops worship five divinities called celestial gods. Obviously, they didn't seem to be much of use here. Uh, yeah, this... this Over here! Oh, this guy. This is Spheris, Dame Nature. She is one of the five divinities I was telling you about. Too kind and gentle for my taste. Hm. It very much reminds me of Sonic in the way that uh, it feels fantastic when you can when you can go really fast, but when you can't go fast, it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, not 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 that it's bad. Whoops! Not that it's bad. Just that when you are climbing, or do I need to step on that again? Uh, or when, when you're doing something like this... Oh, come on, get out of my way. Alright, I'm just going to assume that I got that. Um, when you're climbing, or when you are... Whenever you're not moving really fast, it's a little... It feels way too sluggish for its own good. Uh, and that's, that's unfortunate, because... I really love the way it feels when you're moving fast. Now... Looks like you're trapped on the other side. Can't you just break through? Ah, oh, nice. Fool. Uh, oh gosh, I forgot what I was saying because I got interrupted by uh, Mr. Owl. Free him at once. He vanished. Oh, I hit X instead of Y. Oh wait, what's going on here? Oh, okay. This is the room I started in at the very beginning. I, I don't know what's happening here. Can I do that with this? Yeah, okay. So I just got to do that with, with all of them. And now what? I keep hitting the wrong button. I don't know what that did. This Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Although I fear he Whoa. Has grown senile Dead. Years. The world will never know. Oh, okay. I see. I didn't realize that was a self-destructing platform. Boo earns. Go, 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 go. This is Shin. The wrath I love the graphics though. The graphics in this are fantastic. With his twin oh my. See, right now the game feels fantastic. Apparently, it feels so good when you're moving fast. Of Nox, the shadow trickster. Can't blame them. I've heard countless stories of his annoying antics. Oh, okay, we got bats coming after me. 
sugar. All right, here we go. We're going fast. Fight back, you fool. Don't let them bully you around like that. What's he talking about? Fight back. Oh, do I have to use my Y ability? I mean, they haven't hit me yet, so I I just assumed I was supposed to uh, this avoid is Luxana. them. What are you doing? Hmm? This box of yours seems to have a special connection with Luxana. Oh, cool. Okay. I like the puzzle solving stuff. We got like a little elevator here. I fear the worst for our land. Seeking out Luxana is probably our best course of action. Surely she knows what's going on. All right, there you go. So that is uh, the beginning of Lightfall, basically the first two levels. Uh, overall, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I'm definitely interested to play more of it, but it really reminds me of that same feeling that I get from Sonic the Hedgehog, which is one of my favorite games of all time. It, is, um, it feels fantastic when you can go fast, but when you can't go fast, it just feels frustrating. And uh, I don't know if that's something that changes with more gameplay, but uh, overall, I, I love the art style. I think that the controls are nice and tight. Um, I think the uh, split Joy-Cons are the way to go for this game. Uh, but what do you guys think of Lightfall? Have you guys checked it out before? And uh, uh, if, uh, if it's a game that you've played, let me know what you think of it down below. All right. Thanks for checking out, uh, the show. Don't forget that I have a podcast called Nintendo Switchcraft, which you can find at runjumpstomp.com. Or of course you can just watch the videos right here. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.